Terrell Thomas Days Every Times in my live Charlotte, North Carolina NBA All-Star Weekend. I'm with a young lady that I'm quite sure you see Monday through Fridays on ESPN's First Take. Miss Molly, how are you on this wonderful day? I am excellent. Happy to be out here All-Star Weekend in Charlotte. I love the Queen City and look at this, Bank of America Stadium, right? Home it's of the Panthers. Beautiful. So, yeah, we're having a good time. I, I first want to thank you once again, you know, for taking time out of your of busy schedule. Yeah. I, I definitely appreciate it. So, in the sports industry, I see a lot of young people wanting to know how to get into the industry. Mm -hmm. So, I definitely want to talk to you about that. But I want to know what got you into the sports industry. I understand ESPN definitely wasn't your first stop. Uh -huh. It was a journey to get you to where you are today. Yep. So, what got you into the sport industry? So, I always knew I wanted to do this probably since I was about 12 years old. Uh, Grew up with my dad, huge sports fan, okay. and that's kind of like what we did. We went to games, I played sports, so that was one thing I, w I was sure about. Um, and then I went undergrad to ESPN, studied communications, and then I got a master's in journalism, broadcast journalism, and I did like a ton of different internships along the way. I was Conan O'Brien's intern. I used to get him his coffee. I worked at a hip hop radio station. Um, I'm totally blanking. I also interned at ESPN. Okay. And yeah, that's kind of how I got the party started. I hustled while I was in college. Which sports did you play? I played tennis. Was that an interesting journey? Why Why did you stop or do you still play in your off time? I still play for fun. Uh, I think just because then I want to focus on the career. Okay. I had these big TV dreams, so I had to, you know, go all in. But yeah, I think anytime you've, you've played sports, it's like you kind of take those lessons of uh, just teamwork and I think resiliency and that and apply it uh, and competitiveness also <laughs> and apply it to your, your career path as well. Now, barbershops around the world, mm -hmm. sports bars, first take is always a matter of subject. You know, the topics that you discuss along with Stephen Thank A. and you. Max. Thank you. Much credit to Stephen A. and Max. What is it like to work with those gentlemen? It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, I grew up with sisters, so I always wanted a big brother. So it's a, it's just a lot of fun. And that's part of the reason that I always had wanted to go into the host role, because I wanted to be a part of a team. And, and that's what it feels like. And we just... That's a great job. We talk about sports. We have all these amazing athletes and celebrities come on. You know, we chop it up. It's the kind of thing you will be doing at home, and we're doing it on television. And, like, as you saw today, we had a huge crowd. We have awesome fans that are really loyal. So I feel I feel so blessed that this is my job. And I'm like, I'm just going to roll with it as, as long as they'll keep me. Now, the NBA season has been very interesting so far. Some people look at the All-Star break as being a halfway point, mm -hmm. but we're a little bit further in the loop. I believe it's about 56 games or so into the season. The MVP race is starting to tighten up. Yep. We hear the name is Paul George thrown oh, out it's there. Easy. It's we Giannis. Hear, we hear the name. It's Giannis. So, Giannis what? Antetokounmpo. So, and he's even slowly developing a three-point shot. And wait till that, and he's more accurate. It's all over. Do you no think, brainer. Do you think his grooming under Coach Bud is going to help take him to a, a plateau that we haven't seen in him yet? And do you think under the tutelage of Coach Bud, he could possibly bring a championship to Milwaukee? Listen, the East right now, if you talk to me over the summer, I was like, oh, we're going to be in Boston. My dad's a Celtics fan. I'm thinking I'm already going to take my family. I grew <laughs> I up in Connecticut. That. I'm like, this is going to be great. But what Milwaukee has done, I mean, that's, that's something special. I think they might be a piece away from a championship in – as far as championship, real talk, I already thought it was the Warriors no-brainer, and then they had Boogie. So when we're talking championship, if we're talking getting to the championship, like out of the East, I mean, they have a shot. Like I said, Boston, based on where they are, I don't know I don't know if they're going anymore, based on where they are in the seedings. Like, if you ask me to bet right now, and it's tough because the 76ers are still in there, I would say Toronto. I really? would say Toronto... Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying it. And I don't even I don't even want it to be Toronto, but yeah, I'd say Toronto Warriors and then I mean obviously it's gonna be the dubs, like come on. I, I agree with you as far as the words are concerned. The East is very well. What do you over. think in the East? Um You're a Philly cat, right? Yeah, I'm a Philly cat. So who's your squad? The Sixers? I, I, I grew up a Lakers fan, however, though. I grew, oh, I grew up, I grew you're up, like Max, you're I, one of those. I, I, oh, <laughs> okay, bandwagon. Are I, you no, a Cowboys fan? No, too? no, no. I hate the Cowboys. I am I am an Eagles fan. When I started okay. watching basketball though, my uncle was a huge Lakers fan. So I had no choice okay. but to watch Magic and All right, I'll let it go. And then ironically, uh, my mother used to babysit Kobe Bryant. She grew up Stop in North Philly. So when it when his dad, Joe Bryan, would play in the Kobe's different summer my leagues. Favorite player ever. Yeah, he's yeah. the greatest in my opinion. Yeah. But, you know, that's I don't think he's the there. greatest, but but he's my favorite player. I yeah. think he's the greatest. I, Michael Jordan, you can't really. 
I, I look at him as being on his own plateau. Yeah. He's, you know, no one will ever reach that. So I yeah. guess if, if you had if someone you under him. If you were about him, 10 years older, you'd say Michael Jordan. I would. I mean, yeah, it's more kind of like, I feel like our generation, that's more Team Kobe, honestly. And it, it, it's ironic to see LeBron in LA. It's still like, ah, LeBron's so great. But Kobe, I don't think anyone yeah. can, you know, take over what he has done. You, you mentioned I mean, the Celtics. Speaking of LA, you need, to get a, you need to get another superstar out there. That's a big question. We do. That's gonna happen. Uh, it may not happen. Anthony Davis may have been the closest chance. And, and yeah, I don't think that's happening. And I don't think the deal is going to be any better come summertime. I, agree I don't see you. that happening. I and now the you. bad blood, please. <laughs> it's like when they thought Kawhi Pop was going to trade Kawhi to the Lakers. Get out of here. Well, We're not doing that. As, as you just mentioned mm -hmm. a moment ago, you and Stephen A. Smith, the Pelicans let go of their GM. So as you mentioned, there's a lot of bad blood. That'll yeah, be it's going kind of a on. mess over there. Uh, a big mess. You mentioned yeah. the Celtics. Yeah. Do you think Kyrie Irving will be a member of the Boston Celtics this time next year? I do not. I do not. Um, and I also firmly believe, and you can roll back this tape uh, come June or, you know, whenever it is, and, and I might be eating crow, but I think the Knicks will get KD. Okay. Uh, and possibly Kyrie or Kemba as well. And I think it is Kyrie's last year as a Celtic for sure. So you see Kemba leaving here, Kyrie's last year. And no, no, no. I said, I see KD going to New York. Like, I really think that's going to happen. And and Max is, you, you've heard Max. He is adamant. <laughs> like, there is no shot. And then I think also Kemba and Kyrie, because they have, I think they have over 70 million. So they can, they can get two Max free agents. So that will be my bold prediction of the day. Okay. Okay. I like that. What advice would you have for young up-and-coming journalists, especially young female up-and-coming journalists who want to break into the industry and one day either do on field or on court work or also yeah. do similar work to what you're doing yep. and host? I think the biggest thing is probably like be professional. It seems real basic, like be professional, have a great attitude, be good to work with. Um, and you got to grind any opportunity you can get. Like I did a little fishing show one time. Like I did a lot of random things, a Monopoly championship. I mean, I would cover anything because I just wanted that repetition in front of the camera so I could grow. And at the same time, like it seems so basic, but trying to be on time, trying to be positive, trying to be uh, good to work with and doing your homework so you knew your stuff. So then when you did get that opportunity, like the sugar free, uh, why can't I think of it? Stay ready, like okay. like that type deal. <laughs> that 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 would be that would be my big that would be my big advice. Before you, before we go, I want to yeah. ask you. I heard you mentioned you used to work at a hip hop station, of course. Hot ninety three seven. The Grammys yeah. weren't too long ago. What are you yes. listening to in your off time? What are you listening to when you're getting your mom right before a show, or if you're off relaxing? I'm thinking. You got me thinking about the Grammys, by the way. And let me just say one thing about that. Who I do love is Alicia Keys. Can we talk about how talented oh, this yeah, she's woman amazing. is? She's amazing. She's <laughs> amazing. I'm a host, and I'm like she can host. <laughs> and then she got the two pianos going, and it's crazy. I personally like a lot of, we listen to a lot of hip hop, a lot of R&B. Um, I like some oldies. If you were like, who's, who's your favorite ever? Or it's Jay-Z, hands okay, down. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you, it's Terrell. Been a, it's been such a pleasure. You Great. enjoy yourself. You behave yourself out I will, here. I will, I will. Out here in Charlotte. <laughs> this is a work trip for you, sir. Don't forget it. Definitely work. No, no trouble this way. Terrell Thomas with These Urban Times. Once again, thank you so much, thank Molly. You. Catch her every Monday through Friday on ESPN First Take. Follow me on Instagram. Let them know where they can follow you, please. Follow me on Instagram, Molly Karam, M-O-L-Y-Q-E-R-I-M. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye.